Hello, my name is Eric at Ango Tinker, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Dyson hairdryer. I picked this up that's not working, and uh, all I know is it doesn't power on. Um, I can show you what it does do. It does have some signs of life, which is good. Um, if we plug it in, and turn it on, we see lights here, and then the fan speed lights, all three of them just flash. Uh, from what I understand, that usually is, is an indication that you're supposed to clean the filter, but that's down here, and I mean, it's pretty clean, and if I hold it up to the light, I, I can see all the way through it, it doesn't look dirty, so I don't know if there's some kind of a sensor in here or how these things work, so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to take this apart, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing working again, because I got it for really cheap, and if I can get it working, then it's going to be a great deal, my wife's going to be extremely happy. Disconnected from power first. All right, so I found I got the right screw. There's like it's like a security bit, little star security bit. Let's see if uh, getting the screws out gets us anywhere. Like there's like some little clips here maybe focus can't figure out how hmm. maybe okay okay so okay the filter can come off now and yeah you can see I mean this thing is tiny it's clean there's nothing in it so is there something in here that tells it it's dirty? Hmm. This is okay. I see another screw. Just one? Looks like just one. We can go a little further. What's that? Is that is there another screw hiding under here? There's a little piece of Padding, yep, okay, there it is. There's another screw hiding under the padding there. And, oh, I think I need a bigger. One size bigger. Do this. come out now no what did that do twisty no did this come off oh wait okay still got like the protective plastic on it or that this pop up? I don't want to break it any more than it already is. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's it sounds like it's coming loose or it sounds like it's breaking. Leave that for now. Feel like this should slide down now. Maybe. What was that screw doing? I might need to see if I can Google a teardown video, see if somebody else has taken one of these apart. I mean, I'm sure they have. Because, uh, I'm kind of at a loss because this won't go past the buttons. Sliding it down. But I feel like it, it has to, right? There's got to be a way to get around the buttons. So I imagine this is supposed to come down a little further. But yeah, I don't know. Let me 
Let me do a quick Google and see. Okay, so I was able to find a, a pretty, actually a really good uh, disassembly guy for this thing. Um, it's on a YouTube channel, the Thrifty Tool Shed. He's got a very thorough disassembly of this, so I'm gonna follow his his guide a bit. And uh, apparently these buttons can just pop off. I guess they're like glued on or something. And so let's see if we can do that. Yep, there's a little bit of glue there on that one. Let's see if we can get this one off too. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, it just popped out. I might, uh, I think with this one, I actually just ripped some of the rubber membrane that's supposed to cover that. So we'll see if that goes back in like it's supposed to. But now this should slide down. Okay. And then we should be able to, we got a couple more screws holding this together. Back to the smaller bit here. All right, now let's see. The motor. Goes up through there. I wonder if we can just carefully plug this in and uh, kind of pierce these because I believe there's just the metal connectors down there. So I'm going to be very careful about this and just see if voltage is getting even past the, uh, there's like filters in here. See if voltage is even making its way up to the hair dryer on the board. Well, I didn't expect that. Um, Let's disconnect this again. Uh, huh. What, uh, what's that about, you think? Is it just working now? I mean, um, Pretty clean for the most part. Um, okay, well, so I'm um, okay, so I guess I'm gonna put it back together. Uh, and I guess maybe it's actually working somehow. I'm wondering if it thought that the, I wonder if it thought that the filter needed to be cleaned and there's supposed to be some way that it knows that you've taken the filter off to clean it. And it just never got that info. I mean, is it that smart? I don't see any, there's nothing down here other than the AC wire. So um, I don't know, but I'm gonna put this back together uh, mostly at least and see, I guess if it's now working. I mean, if it does work, I'm not going to be upset because I think I only paid like 60 bucks for this. Um, I actually, I actually bought two of these for about a hundred dollars, two of them that are broken. So if one of them works, I mean, that's awesome. Uh, it's just frustrating because I was, you know, I was hoping to make a video about me fixing it. And now I have a video about me taking it apart and it magically working. Um, well, maybe. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try try it now. Now I feel a little safer with the the motor, you know, kind of covered up. Um, the AC wire is kind of covered up. So I'm just gonna try it really quick now, and see what happens. Yeah. I mean.
probably hear it, but that's. Yeah, I mean, it's working and it's blowing hot air, so the heating element works too. Um, okay, well, let's put the everything back together, I guess. Uh, I'll have to figure out a way to reattach or re-glue these buttons. This one, though, I should have used some hot air to pop this off because this, this one literally broke it, did. Uh, completely. I think, like I said, there's like a little rubber membrane that this button is supposed to be attached to, and I think I just ripped it off completely. Uh, so that's kind of sucky. It stays in mostly. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, like I said, I did buy two of these. If I can't get the other one working then i guess i could salvage parts off of that one to make this one a good working one um we'll see let me just continue putting this back together Okay, um, plug this all the way back in. And uh, now that it's all back together, let's see what it thinks. I mean, I mean, that's a working hairdryer. I guess uh, all I gotta do is put this, put this power switch back on. Um, I think I'll just use a little bit of this Loctite super glue gel stuff. There we go. I think that'll, I think that'll work relatively nicely. So I realized this really wasn't much of a fix video. It was kind of a magic fix, uh, but I think it just goes to show that sometimes with used products and things that are advertised as broken, you just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it really is broken. Sometimes it's something as simple as just a quick cleanup. And uh, sometimes they're just not really, they're not actually broken. I, I can't say why this stopped working and who knows, I may give this to my wife. She might use it once and it, and it might die under the first time and we're, you know, back to square one with a broken item. But for now, I'm going to say that this thing works. Uh, it's, it's magic. Push the magic I believe button and we're gonna call it call it good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave me a comment. Even if you didn't, leave a comment down below. Uh, hit the like button and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.